When you are hatching out your own chicks, there are a few things to keep in mind as they first hatch. One issue that many will see are leg issues. Spraddle or splayed leg is most common in newly hatched chicks or curled toe. These are two of the easiest to fix in my own opinion. There is another leg issue where the chicks have a lower success rate of survival. A slip tendon, in my opinion, is harder to correct, especially if not caught quickly at birth. You have about 24 hours to begin correcting leg issues in chicks. They do not have to eat or drink for the first 24 hours after they have hatched, as they are still absorbing their yolk sac. I have set one of the baby chicks into a chick saddle using a dish towel and a mason jar. This is the best method that I have found. You can see how the chick's legs are hanging here straight. This is to allow the tendons to stretch and snap back into place. You do have to leave the baby chick here for about 48 hours and sometimes up to 72 hours. Remember, the first 24 hours, you do not have to feed the chick or give water. Here I'm using elastic to stretch around the towel and then I have pulled slightly to create a food bowl so that the chick can eat as it will. I've also used this pipit successfully to offer water and I do this frequently for the first 48 to 72 hours. Do not ever force a chick to take water as it will aspirate, but offer it. And if the chick doesn't want it, come back and try again later. You will also need a heat lamp or some kind of heat source to keep the chick comfortable because it is not in the brooder. I have placed the chick in front of a mirror so that it doesn't feel lonely and I use a temperature gauge so that I know if the chick is comfortable or not. 97 is the perfect range. If you ever see a chick panting, you can just push the mason jar slightly away from the heat lamp or heat source and then check and see if they have stopped panting. Here I will demonstrate once again how to give the chick water. Again, we do not force the water. We offer it and if the chick takes it, it's successful or we come back. I also drip a little bit of water into the food as this helps chicks who are sitting in the chick saddle eat and digest the food better. Unfortunately, I wasn't successful with this chick as a slip tendon wasn't the only issue. This chick had other combined issues, splayed leg and curled toe, as well as a slip tendon. I'm trying a new method I hadn't thought of before where I have made a fin. It almost is like a mermaid tail, as you can see. And I want the chick to sit for the next 48 hours, like so. I have provided food and water nearby in the brooder, and I've used a heat plate. As you can see, this is how the chick needs to be sitting to gain strength. We will see in the next 48 hours if we are successful. And yes, we were successful. As you can see, the chick is now getting along just fine. The splayed leg is still noticeable and there is still weakness, but the chick is able to walk on its own to the food and water. Although I will not be placing this chick with its siblings because it is still weak and at this point will be picked on. I do not know if this chick will be allowed to be placed in the coop with the other birds or if we will keep this chick in the house using a diaper, of course, and or I will have a house for it out in the coop 
where I keep all the other chicks. But it will have to live alone because, again, it will be picked on. Chickens do not like uh, weak chickens in their flock. And this one is very weak. Thank you for watching.